welcome back so today i'll be showing you guys how to sew this ruched pencil dress if you'd like to see that please keep on watching but before we head right into it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thumbs up this video plus this dress is also available for order so if you want it details will be in the description box so let's get into it as you can see i've gone ahead to rule a line here the reason why i rule the line here is because this paper is not the way it's cut, this part of it is not straight. So I want to make sure that I'm cutting on a proper straight line. You guys also know that I always leave come down by one inch here. And this is going to be our starting point. The first thing I'll do is I'll come here. Then I'll mark my upper bust length. My upper bust length is seven and a half. My bust length is eleven and a half. My waist length is sixteen and a half my hip length is 28 and then my knee length is 38 38 and then the full length of this outfit is 64 but that is not the actual full length it's just that that is what my table can accommodate but when i'm cutting it i'm going to make the full length to actually be 56 because i want it to be like midi midi so i'll go ahead and replicate this same thing and then roll it down so i'll go ahead and label everything this is my upper bust length this is my bust length this is my waist length this is my hip length then this is my knee length and then this is my full length so the next first thing i'm going to tell you is this the material i'm using to draft to make this outfit is a stretchy material so now i'm giving you this information that is very vital let us go into the measurement taking so i'll come here and put play, mark my shoulder my shoulder is 15 divided by two is seven and a half and i'm going to add one inch that is eight and a half for allowance so i'm going to add it i'll come here and also mark eight and a half at the upper bust length and then i am going to rule this together and I've rolled this together I'll come down here by one inch so from this one inch I'll make um, get the center of this my shoulder line that so I'm going to go in on this this point here by 050 so this is the 050 we are going in and at the upper bust length I'm going to do my round bust divided by four my round bust divided by four is um my round bust is 44 divided by four is 11 so I'll go ahead and put 11 here i'll add one inch as my sewing allowance which is making it 12. so i'm going to connect this line together this one inch that we came down on the slope here this one inch here to this 0 0.5 that we came in then to this my 12 inch that is including my sewing allowance so at the bust line here we already know that we are going to be using the same thing bust length you're going to be using the same thing which is 44 divided by 4 11 plus 1 which is 12 and half 12 inches then we also mark the 11 inches which is our actual bust measurement so at the waistline here my waist is 30 so i'm going to do 30 divided by 4 which is seven and a half so i'm going to mark my seven and a half here and also mark my eight and a half that is a um, plus one so in allowance do you get now let me explain something to you at this point at this waistline you know, normally we're supposed to have a bust that and all at least the waist that do you get but because you're using a stretchy fabric you're not going to be needing any that in this clue that is why i'm telling you that i am going to be using a stretchy fabric for this particular style of dressing so the fabric is important do you get yeah so let's move over to the knee length sorry to the hip length and the hip length i'm going to do my round hip divided by four my round hip is 50 divided by four is um 12.5 so I'm going to mark that here, 12.5. Then I also mark my sewing allowance plus one, which is what, um, 13.5. So at this point, I'm going to come down by two inches. This the reason I'm coming down by two inches is so that I am not going to have you know that now after making clothes, you're going to have here yeah, shooting out. Yes, it's going to help you eliminate that. So I'm just going to mark it this way, and then we're going to leave it. So you come to the knee length. At the knee length, you are going to do your round hip minus eight. Again, if you want to learn how to do a comprehensive body measurement, I'm going to link that video in the description box. I mean, I cannot explain it here. I've already done the video on it. So that's going to make, help you understand how we're getting our knee, our round knee. So at this um, knee length, we are going to do our round hip minus eight. 
my round repeat is 50 minus 8 is 42 divided by 4 is 10.5 so i'm going to go here and mark my 10.5 then i also go again and do my one inch for my sewing allowance you get so how i've done this at my full length i want this outfit to be give that pencil look even though it is ruched i'm going to take in as my full length whatever i have at at my round knee my round knee what i have here is 10 and half i'm going to subtract two inches from the 10 and half giving me eight and a half inches and that's what i'm going to mark on my full length and then you're going to add your sewing allowance which is one inch making it what um nine and a half inch right yeah so this is what you are going to have so i'll go ahead and connect everything together i'm going to use my ruler and connect these points together and just like that guys our front pattern this is our front pattern is ready I want to do that asymmetrical boat neckline yeah so what i'll do i'll come here and just go in by uh, let me say four inch at this side and then come down by one inch at this side and then i am going to connect it together but i'm not going to cut this out i'm going to move this this way i won't be cutting it out i'll just leave it this way for now and i won't do anything to it then from this our neck point here i'll now connect it to this one inch to give us our shoulder slope so just watch carefully as I cut it out. For me to cut this out, I'm going to also cut out this space here. Remember, I'll be cutting out this space that is here as well. All right, so I've gone ahead to cut out the front pattern. So this is the front pattern. Here is my starting point. I'll now go ahead and mark one and a half inches from here to the full length. This is going to serve as our sewing, our zip allowance. So this outfit is going to have a zip. The next thing I'm doing now is to place my front pattern. It is going to start from this one and a half zip allowance that we did here. I'll come to the knee length. This is my knee length at this point here. I mark out a straight line here. Then my full length, I am also going to go ahead and mark a straight line. Then my waist length, I also go ahead and mark a straight line at my waist length here. So what we're now going to do now is at the waist length, I'm going to go in by one and a half. This one and a half that we had here, I'm going to go in by one and a half here. Please, please pay attention. Remember, if you're a smaller sized girl, like you're not as you can see my thumbnail, you're not as curvy as me, one inch is enough for you. But I'm using one and a half. And because I've removed one and a half from here, at this waist now, at this side, I'm going to extend this line now. So at this waist, because we took in one one and a half at the waist, I'm going to come to this end and keep put the one and a half here. Do you understand? At the waist length, we went in this way, but for the full length, we're going to go up and down. So I'm going to go up by two and a half inches. I also come down by two and a half inches. I'm not going to add anything at the hip length for this side. Okay? They will not come to the knee length. At the knee length, we are going to go in by 1.5 here, just like how we had our zip allowance. So we're going to go in by 1.5 here. So we are going to extend our knee length at this side. So we can add back that 1.5 to compensate for this um, thing we are doing. Then for the full length, we're going to do the same thing. Add 1.5 as well. I know my full length is out of focus. Let me focus it. Yeah, so we are, we are going to go out here by 1.5. And then at this side, we are also going to go in by 1.5. So now that we have gotten this, I, I will go ahead and rule this like join this together i'm going to join here to this part okay i'll join here to here then remember that this our material sorry the front pattern we, we came down by two inches here so i'm going to rule this line to cater for that to our two inches you can rule it out remember we didn't add anything at the hip line so we are going to connect this line to this point here so i'm going to connect this line to this point here now we have done this, I will now connect this point, this on the waistline, to our hip line using my hip curve. So I'm going to connect this to this line here. This is going to be our new, uh, for, this is going to be for our back pattern. Then from here, here I will now rule, um, join it to this place. We didn't move anything from there, so we are going to just, we are going to still maintain that. You understand? So this is what we have for this side. The next thing I'll just do is to just trace out the end of this arm wall, like at this side, you know, to so just fit into here. You get, I'll trace this out. 
now I'm, I'm done stressing it out i'll now remove this so i'm going to put place my ruler at this point and then connect it to this one point this is our waist length we went in by 1.5 so i'll connect it from here to here do you understand this is going to be how our back side is going to look like i'll connect it from here to here i'm going to connect from here to these two and a half inches that we came up at the full at the hip length do you understand so i'll connect this this way i'll now connect it to this one and a half inches that we went in at the knee length so i'll connect this to this place so i'll just take this down this way i'll just take it down we're going to cut out we don't I'm going to go ahead at this back pattern and mark out my waist. Remember, my waist is 16 and a half. Sorry, guys, I'm having cutter, so sorry about that so the next thing i'll be doing is you're going to slash at the hip length slash it open at the knee length you also slash it and also then at the full length like you just slash everything open so once i'm done slashing it open i'll get the first pattern i'm going to get the difference between my hip length and my waist length get the middle and slash that part open so altogether i'm going to have like four patterns you, you can even decide to slash your own more it all depends on what you are going for but this is what i went for so the next thing you're going to do is to pick the first pattern and then pin it down but i before i pinned it down i came down by three inches because that is like i wanted to have a ruching at that point so from the it's from the three inches that i now pinned the and i placed my first um pattern down then from that after that i am going to leave 10 inches from now onwards the difference between the remaining patterns is going to be 10 10 inches do you understand so i'm going to leave 10 inches then place the second pattern then leave another 10 inches place the second the next pattern and that's how i'm going to do it till i reach the full length then you will now take your ruler and Merge all the lines at the sides okay Merge the lines very well so that it's smooth you know so that it follows the shape of your body so once you are done measuring the lines then you now go ahead and cut out this pattern this is now going to be your new full length and also i i forgot to tell you guys i slashed this pattern at the waist so the upper part of the outfit the upper part of this pattern is on its own like from the shoulder to the waistline is separate on its own this particular part one i'm doing is from the waist to the full length that is what i slashed here so everything i did for the front part i'm going to go ahead and do for the back i'm going to slash it open the difference from the waist to the difference from the waist to the first pattern is it's going to be three inches just like how we did for the front pattern and then the difference between the next pattern to the full length is now going to be 10 inches the next thing we are going to do is to mark our zip and our allowance and our, what i'm using for my zip allowance is one inch remember i told you guys that from the waist from the shoulder to the waist I slashed it at the upper part so i'm now going to go ahead and cut it if you watch very well you can see that at the waist region i added some a bit, i think it's about five inches so to give it a ruching effect so now i still finish cutting that i go ahead and do the same for the back side so the next thing to do is to measure out your um your elastic you know that this outfit is a mini outfit the, le the length i use was 56 inches so i'm going to cut out my t my my elastic i use i think about 40 inches or, or maybe 35 inches i don't want just so by the time you stretch it it is going to like take in all that material do you get that we elongated so by the time you have done sewing it because when you are sewing it you need to be stretching out that um, elastic you need to be stretching your elastic as you are sewing this so that by the time you are done sewing it everything is going to come back to the original length that you wanted your outfit to be which is 56 inches or in your own case whatever inches that you are using so i needed about four or five elastics i think i needed about four yes i think i need about i needed about four of these elastic yeah as you can see at this point i've gone ahead to like join the elastic do you see how it's looking so everything is now one so i'll now place the front pattern on top of the back pattern so that i can you know join the like align the outfit together and then join it remember that we added our sewing allowance to be one inch when we are drafting this pattern so that is what we are going to use and join both sides of this 
um, dress. So head over to the same machine and join everything together. Once you are done joining it, I will now also join my bodies, like the upper part of the clothes, from the shoulder to the waist. I'm going to join everything together. Then I will now join that to the skirt part of this dress, put my zip and everything is ready. And I forgot to tell you guys, I finally changed the neckline of this outfit to a triangular neckline. Like a V-neckline, not triangular, like a V-neckline. Yes. Just take a look at the fitting of this outfit. Look at, look at the fitting, baby. <laughs> I hope you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up this video. And if you want to order this outfit, my details will be in the description box. Bye-bye.